So Richard, how would you have treated someone during the First World War with a very badly broken leg? Basically, you'd use a Thomas Flint, and the way this works is by re-knitting the bones together and using something called traction. If you break your leg very badly, the muscles around it pull the leg shorter and the bones overlap. Traction works by pulling the muscles back to allow the bones to be realigned. Stabilising broken bones like this saved lives during the war because it meant blood loss could be controlled and there was a better chance of keeping infection out. It looks very uncomfortable to use, is that right? Yes, it's incredibly uncomfortable. Maybe Zon should have a go. Yeah, I think so. Brilliant, brilliant. All right, then. If you hold it straight. OK. OK. And we need to... Up oh, through there. It's very difficult doing this kind of thing if we imagine him in the trenches covered in mud like this. And presumably, you'd be working with people shooting at us and shells landing around at the same time. Yeah. You're starting to see how difficult medicine would be in the trenches. You can see why you don't even bother to wash your hands beforehand. The mud gets into everything. So basically, as Richard's tightening there, this frame is now pushing in your groin, and the bones that are broken here will be being separated, and then they can grow back together normally. What's amazing is to see this being used in a replica of a World War I trench, and to think, I've used one of these in a modern emergency department. It's exactly the same thing. So how do you feel, Sand? Is it comfortable? It's not very comfortable for me, and it would be very painful if I really had a broken leg, but my leg is very well supported. It would also mean I'm much more likely to survive. <laughs>